place. The platypus, sometimes referred to as the duck-billed platypus, is a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal endemic to eastern Australia, including Tasmania, together with the four species of echidna. It is one of the five extant species of monotremes, the only mammals that lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. The animal is the sole living representative of its family and genus, though a number of related species appear in the fossil record. The first scientists to examine a preserved platypus body, in 1799, judged it a fake, made of several animals sewn together. Ninth place. The axolotl, Ambystoma mexicanum, also known as the Mexican walking fish, is a neotenic salamander related to the tiger salamander. Although the axolotl is colloquially known as a walking fish, it is not a fish but an amphibian. The species was originally found in several lakes, such as Lake Exochimilco underlying Mexico City. Axolotls are unusual among amphibians in that they reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. Instead of developing lungs and taking to the land, adults remain aquatic and chilled. Axolotls should not be confused with water dogs, the larval stage of the closely related tiger salamanders, which are widespread in much of North America and occasionally become neotenic. Eighth place. The blue parrotfish is a member of the parrotfish genus Scaris. It is found on coral reefs in shallow water in the tropical and subtropical parts of the Western Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. They are uniformly blue with a yellow spot on their head that fades as they age. They average 30 to 75 centimeters in length with a maximum length of 1.2 meters. They develop a large beak, like other parrotfish that is used for scraping algae and small organisms from rocks. They have pharyngeal teeth that grind ingested rocks into sand. No other species has this uniform blue color as adults. They weigh about 9.1 kilograms, 20 pounds. In summer, blue parrotfish gather in spawning groups. Seventh place. A giant isopod is any of the almost 20 species of large isopods in the genus Bathynomus. They are abundant in the cold, deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. Bathynomus giganteus, the species upon which the genotype is based, is often considered the largest isopod in the world, though other comparably poorly known species of Bathynomus may reach a similar size. The giant isopods are noted for their resemblance to the much smaller common woodlouse, pale bug, to which they are related. French zoologist Alphonse Milne Edwards was the first to describe the genus in 1879 after his colleague Alexander Agassi collected a juvenile male B. giganteus from the Gulf of Mexico. Sixth place. The water deer is a small deer superficially more similar to a musk deer than a true deer. Native to China and Korea, there are two subspecies, the Chinese water deer and the Korean water deer. Despite its lack of antlers and certain other anatomical anomalies, including a pair of prominent tusks, downward pointing canine teeth, it is classified as a cervid. Its unique anatomical characteristics have caused it to be classified in its own genus, Hydropods, as well as its own subfamily, Hydropotini. However, studies of mitochondrial control region and cytochrome B DNA sequences placed it near Capriolus within an Old World section of the subfamily Capriolini. Its prominent tusks, elongated canines. Fifth place. Cassowaries, genus Casurius, are ratites, flightless birds without a keel on their sternum bone, that are native to the tropical forests of New Guinea, Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. 
nearby islands, and northeastern Australia. There are three extant species. The most common of these, the southern cassowary, is the third tallest and second heaviest living bird, smaller only than the ostrich and emu. Cassowaries feed mainly on fruit, although all species are truly omnivorous and will take a range of other plant food, including shoots and grass seeds. In addition to fungi, invertebrates, and small vertebrates, cassowaries are very shy, but if provoked they are capable of inflicting injuries, occasionally fatal, to dogs and people. Fourth place. The Geronic, also known as the Giraffe Gazelle, is a long-necked antelope found in the Horn of Africa and the drier parts of East Africa. The sole member of the genus Lithocranius. The Geronic was first described by the naturalist Victor Brook in 1878. It is characterized by its long, slender neck and limbs. The antelope is 80 to 105 centimeters, 31 to 41 in tall, and weighs between 28 and 52 kilograms. Two types of coloration are clearly visible on the smooth coat, the reddish brown back or the saddle, and the lighter flanks, fawn to buff. The horns present only on males, a lyre shaped. Third place. PACU is a common name used to refer to several species of omnivorous South American freshwater cerisamid fish that are related to the piranha. PACU and piranha do not have similar teeth. The main difference being jaw alignment. Piranha have pointed, razor sharp teeth in a pronounced underbite, whereas PACU have squarer, straighter teeth, which are uncannily similar to human teeth and a less severe underbite, or a slight overbite. PACU, unlike piranha, mainly feed on plant material and not flesh or scales. Additionally, the PACU can reach much larger sizes than piranha. At up to 1.08 meters 3.5 feet in total length and 40 kilograms 88 pounds in weight, the common name PACU is generally applied to fish classified under the following genera. Second place. The Angora rabbit, which is one of the oldest types of domestic rabbit, is bred for the long fibers of its coat, known as Angora wool, that are gathered by shearing, combing, or plucking. Because rabbits do not possess the same allergy-causing qualities as many other animals, their wool is an important alternative. There are at least 11 distinct breeds of Angora rabbit, four of which are currently recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association (ARBA), English Angora, French Angora, Giant Angora, and Saturn Angora. Others include German Angora, Chinese Angora, Finnish Angora, Japanese Angora, Korean Angora, Russian Angora, St. Lucian Angora, and Swiss Angora. First place. The Siger antelope is a critically endangered antelope that originally inhabited a vast area of the Eurasian steppe zone from the foothills of the Carpathian Mountains and Caucasus into Zangaria and Mongolia. They also lived in Beringi in North America during the Pleistocene. Today, the dominant subspecies is only found in one location in Russia and three areas in Kazakhstan. A proportion of the Ustyut population migrates south to Uzbekistan and occasionally Turkmenistan in winter. It is extinct in the People's Republic of China and southwestern Mongolia. It was hunted extensively in Romania and Moldova until it became extinct in those regions at the end of the 18th century. The Mongolian subspecies is found only in western Mongolia. The scientific name of the Saiga is Saiga Tatrika. 
It is the sole extant member of its genus and is classified in the family Bovidae. This species was first described by Swedish zoologist Carl Linnaeus in the 12th edition of Systema Naturae. Linnaeus gave it the name Capra tatrica. The relationship between the Saiga and the Tibetan antelope has long been debated. That's all, dear friends. If you liked this video, put likes, leave comments and subscribe to our channel.